Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting this channel, new story, welcome. And if you are uh, have already not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. This video is about um, one of the cool technologies for uh, the people that want to grow um, some plants and gardening things but don't have enough time. Just pour in the water and it will grow. There is um, no relocation of the plant or there will be no uh, herbicides needed. Um, and then I have filmed this since September or August, it's a couple months ago. So what I was talking about is this product right here um, is Smart Garden Click and Grow. A few months ago, I did a video about unboxing some of my birthday gifts, and this is one of them. And uh, here's a quick recap about it. I can grow something out because gardening experience, I don't have a lot. Uh, just basically buy a plant, put it in the ground, water it. That's all I do. That's the more experience I have for growing plants in the past. And um, because of a full-time work schedule, I don't really have time to take care of them nor uh, buying you know, new ones if I wanted to. So these came... Let me remember. I think it came with the basil and the basil lily was a buy extra. Another thing you need to buy is the um, timer, which is I will show you a clip of it. So this is the original box that I was talking about a couple months ago. And after a few months of growing it, this is what it looks like right now. Yay! I think as long as I see flower, I think I'm success with this project. <laughs> project. So this plug is connected directly to this pot. However, uh, I plug it to the timer, then plug it into the um, power strip. So if I plug it straight in, it will be automatically turned on like this. Um, so here is some funny experience that I want to share with you guys um, for growing this particular um, flower species. Because I think um, each flower, each plant will, will behave differently and this come uh, when they advertise it, I can show you a little clip on the screen. They advertise it, uh, they come with many colors and you don't know which color you get until you grow it, which is really fun. Um, but I think what I got was pretty good. I So the hybrid, I think, this is my first time growing. So let me know in the comments if you have experienced this that I think the hybrids are a little weaker. What that means is it's, it grows slower and, and it blooms later. So what I have is this guy, all right? So this is not the hybrid. This is actually one of the uh, Bizzolini color, pink and white. So I got the pink one, it looks so really good guy look at it so bright in color so and the negative thing about this when growing this is I can spot like some fallouts of the dead leaves um, if you are worried about uh, this don't look very attractive on your countertops or um, on your um, uh, dresser where you display this um, then you want it to kind of give it a shake like this so the not too hard because you're gonna break the branches so it's gonna these gonna fall off right here and you can actually hand pick out the dead leaves I mean it's like hair it's gotta fall off for you know for a new, new one to grow so there's a lot of new ones that are growing this pots right here if I pop it open I don't think I can pop it open. Yeah, I cannot pop it open because the, the stem have grow on top of it. If I pop this open, it will break the stem, which is cause the, the plants to die, most likely. So I have been moving, if I can move slow, closer, 
as you can see my hybrid the middle one are are so flimsy it's so it's, it's, it's this much after compared to this you can see the hybrid the hybrid are smaller than the the one that is not so I'll put it back and I have been sh shuffling around to trying to get the best lighting same for the white one I'm not sure how this works but funny thing enough is again you shake it all the dead flowers fall off and the dead leaf will fall off um, there's one pink or purple actually it's purple because that's pink so this is purple so I think somewhere in the genetically crossing there's a mix somewhere right this is actually not an F1 so all right and also you have to keep up with the height of the light okay the height of the light so there so if I take the wire out right here on the side the light will be can be able to change so let me put this back so I can show you guys so the light can change like this when the plan was little it was actually sitting right on top like like this low. the capsule was holding the plant until it's ready then I will remove the capsules and uh, it will start growing from there but when it was a baby plant we have to have that on for a greenhouse effects for the seed to sprout faster oh really low and then as it grow a bit taller I install this like this so I thought this is enough because that the plant not even this tall it was a, it was a little shorter right but then I realized that this hybrid was very very frail it, it was because as you can see the light concentration is right here and out here is not because this light extension is not coming all the way out here to match the base so um and if you experience some burned, the leaves are curled up, are dry, they are, but the, the bays are still attached. What I mean is, if you see the leaf like this, right, and this part of the bottom of it is still healthy, but the leaf uh, edges are curled up, like they start to uh, like burn, then that means the light is too close. That's why I moved, as soon as I saw that, I realized that I move it up and I put it up here like this Okay And there Now, everything has light on it, all the three parts have light, everything looks good Now I have another problem Because these two guys are too big It kind of crushed the middle one and forces it to be small That's, I, that's my theory um, so as long as soon as you experience something like that you realize that if they sell you three pots maybe they should sell you two instead of three that's what I think but then who wants to buy something that only have two right I, I don't know it doesn't make sense unless this is meant for you to transfer it out to a bigger pot with actual dirt but then it's kind of defeat the purpose of being lazy you know what I mean so um, that's just a pro and con again recap um, you're gonna have to manually raise the light you're gonna have to manually pour in the water there is a water indications right here you can see if I put my fingers this thing will bounce back a good amount of water would be for this bar to raise all the way to the surface that's when you have enough water or the water tank is completely full and let me tell you the water tank did not get moldy at all I did not have to um, clean the, the water tank due to mold or uh, or any kind of discoloration of the water at all it stayed clean the whole time which is 
crazy. The only time that I saw some things fall on it is when I pick it up and peek at it to see that like what's it look like inside is when the these dead leaves fall in but then I pick them out and they are fine like also um I would recommend to locate the plant as soon if you wanted to I don't think it's necessarily but if you wanted to you can put this on a separate uh, click and grow and have it bloom by itself because I think the this advantage of the three pot that come very close is that n not everyone will grow in their full bloom without crushing the neighbor flower if that make any sense um, other than that they do look fake you know they, they, they have this little shinish on it it's almost like a velvet uh, touch so it's it looks fake but when you have the system everyone should have think if you ever go to ikea they have exactly like this but on a bigger scale when they're trying to sell you those life plants um, that's that's the same concept but i, I think having a, a life plant a life flower at home will last you first is longer and second very low maintenance uh, all you have to do is buy the pots or you can save i think in my theory you can save the flowers and bury it in again and it will grow another one just my thoughts but um i haven't tried it so let me know if you guys tried it before uh, because i did it for uh, chrysanthemum flowers when they bloom in the fall and then they die we save the flowers and we bury it into the dirt next year in uh toward the end of summer and we will have the full bloom bush by uh thanksgiving so uh let me know if you try that for these kind of flowers because i have not tried that yet um yeah so the advantage short easy maintenance um a little mess and and the disadvantage is a little messy you're gonna get this fallout um that you have to clean around so I, it's best to put it on a tray so that way you can just take the tray and dump it to the trash with the fallout and quick rinse the tray um the advantage again is such an easy thing to do you just literally pop it in the pot and let it grow let it grow um and it's kind of fun to watch the plant grow because it's like um it's like a surprise box, you know, like you, you don't know what you know the flower in the package, but you don't know which exact color it is. That's why I think I like the flower better. If you like your house to smell like mint or something, I would recommend uh, plants, um, herbs like dill, um, mint basil those have stronger scent so i think living in the kitchen is kind of smell uh, make your kitchen smell good deodorize all the cooking smell uh, for me i um put this in the living room upstairs so it's kind of help with the light because the hallway is quite dark so these light kind of help me with the uh lighting issues in my home which is another thing that i think is very useful to know that if you want to just play something nice but then the area is not too bright you can use this it's probably fine actually the living room area that i put in is completely dark so here's the main menu of the click and grow if you search on your mobile device right now i'm using my phone to do this so first let's look at the uh, products that they have so the one I have is the Smart Garden 3. 3 is meant for 3 uh, growing uh, holes or pots. And then you got 9 and 27 and the ultimate one which is cost about $2,000 and 300 is the wall uh, farm. This is probably, uh, it has 51 spots for you to grow 51 individual pots. So right here in the bottom, you can do herbs, salad, flowers, variety, anything on those um, with the purchase of the plants I will show you the varieties of that um, here they are 
the popular items is always sold out so if you really want something uh, keep an eye out for it because I noticed that the lettuce is always sold out um, and the catnips okay and that's it thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video please leave a comment thumbs up like share uh and hit the subscribe button and i will see you on the next video bye that is the only disadvantage of this it costs a lot <laughs>